It is the 29th of the 12th, 2011, and this is tonight's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with an article that was brought to my attention by Here It Comes Skippy, a channel here on YouTube. Uh, basically, this article was written in 1845. Uh, he's done his homework, and he's got some links to back it up. I'll provide links below if you want to look into this. Basically, it's a story written about the climate change situation in Greenland. you got to remember this was written back in 1845, and it was talking about um, 666 year cycles, and every 333 years, um, there's a drastic change from hot to cold kind of thing. And uh, so, definitely something people should look into. Again, I'll provide the links below. Uh, thanks, Skippy, for bringing this to my attention. Over to Scott or Sot.net tonight. Japan radiation fears spread to forest industry. A radiation fear is streaming from the origin uh, ongoing crisis at the Fukushima Number no. One nuclear power plant, and radiation monitoring activity. Activities are raising concern among people handling trees to grow mushrooms and make charcoal. And again, they are burning this stuff, they are burying this stuff, they are dumping this stuff directly into the Pacific Ocean. Canada, Ottawa at risk for big earthquake. Seismologists and structural engineers say the city of Ottawa is at risk for a big earthquake. And they go into the science with that. Lava flood kills four near Indonesian volcano. Officials say fast-moving mud flows streaming from the mouth of, the of a volcano in eastern Indonesia have killed four villagers and about a thousand others have fled their homes. A Mount Gamalama, located at the Moluka Islands, sprang back to life this month with a powerful non-fatal eruption. And I remember reporting on that. Um... Red Sea Volcano, New Island, forms off of Yemen coast after underwater eruption. And that's that volcano I've been reporting on in the Red Sea uh, for the past few weeks. Uh, and again, they've got the story I reported on a while ago. TEPCO says it no longer owns Fukushima fallout. And I believe I called that uh, video free plutonium. And here's a story that I covered last night. Giant shrimp raises big concerns as it invades the Gulf of Mexico. And these are these big giant prawns. Uh, they're eating the other shrimp and the small crabs and uh, destroying the ecosystem because they're not native to the region. The Asian tiger prawn. Looks like a pretty big shrimp. And that's about all new they have tonight. Uh, they got a sinkhole closes another California road. Uh, they're saying it's going to be down for a few weeks. The Foothill Road in Santa Barbara between uh, Miranda Lane and North Ridge Road shut down Tuesday because of a sinkhole in the roadway. And they're going to say it's going to take weeks to repair the thing. Over to the extinction protocol, they've got the war drums beating. U.S. Naval 5th Fleet Command warns Iran any oil disruption through the Strait of Hormuz will not be tolerated. you got to remember the Iranians are having uh, their war games going on right now. Why Russian's, Russian scientists have listed the Siberian earthquake as a 9.5 event, and uh, they really don't measure it the same way uh, the USGS does. And I believe uh, they're saying it reached a 6.6, 6.7, that kind of thing. Uh, they're saying more earthquakes are, you know, aftershocks are ongoing. Death toll in killer flood from tropical storm Washi in the Philippines rise to 1,249. you got to remember that's the one that, that swept entire villages out to sea. Just a terrible, terrible storm. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the watchers, I've got a couple of stories I want to cover. Uh, Phobos Grunt re-entry rescheduled for January 14th. Uh, for those of us that have been following the Phobos Grunt situation, that's the Russian satellite that's tumbling out of control in an elliptical orbit. Russian's Phobos Grunt spacecraft will fall unofficially on January 14th, somewhere between 30 degrees north and 62.3 degrees east placing the, the debris near the city of Mirabad in southwestern Afghanistan. 
Uh, that's just a guess, I'm sure. They're saying it's going to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere around 2.22 a.m., and I'm sure that's um, universal time. New large sunspot rotating earthward, earthward on the eastern limb. A new large sunspot is now rotating into view on the eastern limb. It just produced a minor C6.7 solar flare. Uh, Tuesday evening, solar activity was monitored on Monday with 1M class flare detected around sunspot 1387. Uh, so again, the sun's gearing up to maximum. New typhoon likely to strike the Philippines and the typhoon washy aftermath. Meteorologists in the Philippines warn about the possibility of a new storm just days after a powerful typhoon claimed the lives of more than 1,500 people. Insane. Over to the RSOE. Uh, the cold wave continues in India. Um, they're just having all kinds of problems. Tropical storm in India, that's the Cyclone 6 that I said was going to hit the southeastern side, and it has. Uh, extreme weather in the United Kingdom. They're calling for uh, very high gusts of winds and uh, um, these bands of gale force storms rolling through heavy rains and, and high winds kind of thing. Uh... Flash flooding in South Africa. They had some severe rains. Uh, several people uh, were hurt and displaced. Uh, they're distributing uh, tents and whatnot, uh, first aid to people. Kenya, giant wave impact. Uh, apparently, some ladies were out fishing during low tide. Uh, they were moving from one spot to another. A big freak wave came in and, and grabbed two of them and swept them out to sea. And that's about all new they have tonight, climate change-wise. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, that's e, e News. LA Times, U.S. nuclear renaissance short-circuited by Fukushima, steady finds. Clear that we are witnessing not a revival, but a collapse. And we can all only hope that it's just a collapse. Uh, says one legal expert, uh, document shows high-profile nuclear experts under Japan government surveillance. Deceased Alaska seals tested for radiation have abnormal brain growths, undersized lymph nodes, environmental cause indicated, also found in Russia and Canada, bacteria becoming bloodborne, white spots on the livers, are the walruses next, and they have uh, photos and a map of the area. Um, <clears throat> I was watching um, a few videos, basically. I, I believe it was Mary Greeley, I'm not 100% sure, but she put out a video saying that this is due to pollution and it's been ongoing since 1988 uh, as far as with these seals and stuff getting sick. But uh, definitely radiation is a situation in the Pacific and the Arctic Sea, I'm sure. UN agency reactor number three exploded a second time in 24 hours, uh, a second time 24 hours after the original explosion. Then wind and rain brought high levels of radiation over Tokyo um, and, a, and several other major cities. Prime Minister Khan, if uh, Fukushima reactors melted down, its severity would far exceed that of the Chernobyl accident. And that's just an understatement. Uh, off of Reuters, radiation tests underway on dead and diseased seals in Alaska, suffering bleeding lesions and hair loss. Japan... Times China syndrome was near reactor number two, believed Fukushima boss and a nuclear expert a hundred years where people will not be able to use groundwater if radioactive water from Fukushima reactor reactors goes inland and it already has. And I'm gonna leave tonight with uh, Gunderson in June quote I try to temper my advice so it doesn't create panic, unquote. I don't blame you, Arnie, I don't blame you one bit. I recommend you check out that article uh, from the 1800s. Uh, thanks, Skippy, for bringing that to my attention. And um, just remember to have fun today. If I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.